What did this mean to you when you got this phone call? Oh, man, Michael, you, you know me a long time. I'm, I'm not usually at loss for words, man, but, yeah, I mean, how do you even respond to something like this? I'm just, I've been floating around the whole weekend just trying to, to come to grips with this tremendous honor, and, uh, you know, I, I was just uh, just taken back, just, just humbled, obviously, and just totally appreciative of this tremendous honor. As you know, I've always been a big historian, especially of Yankee history, and uh, just to be mentioned alongside these guys is just, just beyond words. You know, we're going over the numbers, and the thing that, that, that startles me, because I was young at the time, as were you, I mean, you're, you're 21 years old coming into the Yankee clubhouse. And, and in 76, that's a team that goes on to the World Series. I mean, what is a 21, 22-year-old kid thinking as you are playing in a World Series and the next year winning one? Wow, like a kid in the candy store, Don. I mean, think about it. I grew up, you know, in the city rooting for the, the, the local teams. And, uh, you know, uh, it's been chronicled that I was a, a big Met fan growing up as a kid. But then, obviously, the Yankees were the team that uh, everyone knew about the championships and, 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 and everything that went along with it with all the great players. So uh, I was just like a kid in the candy store. And, and I'm, these guys I'm working with, I'm playing with, I'm rubbing elbows with some of the greats, the Thurman Munsons, you know, the, you know Catfish Hunter, Roy White. And I'm I'm just feeling like, you know, it's a dream come true. You know, we've always dreamed about playing Major League Baseball, and we fantasize about it. But when you're actually 21 years I'm a baby. <laughs> I think about being 21 years old, and my son or my daughters, and I'm going, they're, they're like children. <laughs> and I'm there, you know, in Yankee Stadium playing in front of the greatest fans in the world. So for me, it was surreal, and uh, it was just a great experience to get that, that, that situation going early where, you know what, it's like, you know, I'm going to be here for a long time and get a chance to go to the World Series, although we lost the first year. But 77, 78 made up for it. Now, Willie, the one thing that I was always worried about with you being honored and, and guys from that team is that, you know, because of the 96 and the up to 2001 team, they were so beloved, yeah. and you guys seem like, it seemed like so far away, but for me it doesn't, because it was my childhood. Did you worry about, gee, we're kind of lost in the past? Not really, because I never thought that this would happen. You know, I just never looked at it that way. I didn't feel that I was worthy, really, in some ways, to be mentioned with those guys. So that's not something I've never really thought about and played uh, in my mind. Uh, I just felt like it was honored and privileged to have an opportunity to play Major League Baseball and play for one of the best franchises in, in the history of the game. So for me, I just never allowed myself to even go there because I always felt I was a complimentary player. Not, not complimentary, but I did a certain thing. I, I did my part as far as setting the table for the big boys. I didn't. I didn't have the big ego, and, and I knew my role. So I just felt like I was always going to get on base and score runs for the guys and do my job. But I always felt I was the little guy in the totem pole. So they were the guys that I looked up to. So I kept that attitude, and it kept me humble, and it kept me, uh, uh, you know, hungry to do my job every year. And you know, it's kind of neat. You're going to be honored right before the Old Timers Day. So all of the Yankee greats are going to be there. It's almost yeah. like what happened with Goose last yeah. year. Yeah. So you're going to see all of these guys standing behind you. It's going to be pretty emotional. Yes. I would think. Yes, it is, and, and and that's what's so cool about this more than anything, I get a chance to share this with all my guys. You know, those guys are the ones that really put me on their shoulder and carried me as a young player. You know, the Roy Whites and the, and the Thurmans and, and, you know, Reggie and all those guys. I mean, I can go up down the line. All these guys taught me how to play the game. So to have a, a day like that in Yankee Stadium with all the fans there and, and my family and to be able to share that with my guys who really taught me how to play the game, it's going to be extra special. So I, I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to the day. We're talking to Willie Randolph, and of course he'll have you know plaque as uh, celebrating his tremendous career as a New York Yankee. Uh, Willie, when you look back at, is there any specific player that you said that really helped me through those times when I was a kid? Yeah, there was a few, actually. Uh, well, my first mentors uh, were Elson Howard first. I mean, I looked up to him like he was like he was a father figure because, again, he was a great Yankee. Mm -hmm. uh, he's someone that uh, was took me under his wing and taught me the ropes along with Roy White. Got to mention Roy White. And uh, he was the one that showed me that class, that dignity, you know, that the way you carry yourself as a Yankee. And Chris Chambers was my first roommate. Chris and I got to know each other real well. Uh, and so he taught me a lot about how to go about your business. 21 years old. You you know you don't really know you're like a kid uh, like a deer in headlights so you're trying to absorb as much as you can. I was brought up in an era where you know you, you, you just you know you didn't speak you just kind of listened and watched and, and absorbed. So I, I, it was easy for me to kind of really get better year to year because I had so many great veterans around me. Thurman Munson was very instrumental in my career. I mean he was the captain and, and he he took me under his wing right away and, and made me feel comfortable in the clubhouse. And and I had a little chip on my shoulder coming from Brownsville Brooklyn so. So, you know, I had that was that oh they always psyched and I was getting fired up for the games and he, he taught me
me to relax a little bit in the clubhouse. So Thurman was one that really kind of made me feel like I was part of the gang. And so there was a lot, a lot of guys that, that really taught me. Because, again, like I said, they took care of me. They protected me. Billy Martin was another guy who, who took me out of his wing and said, listen, I'm going to protect you, son. You're a second baseman like me. And if anybody messes with you, we, we're going to go after him. So, <laughs> so I always felt very comfortable around the guys because everyone looked out for me. Now, this is quite an honor, but I would also think that being the first African-American Yankee captain had to mean the world to you, Willie. Oh, tremendous. To this day, it's one of the most, the biggest honors I've ever, ever had. I mean, it's just when you think about, uh, you know, it's only been eight of us all, all, you know, and then to be able to share that with Ron Guidry at the time. Uh, Greg Nettles was another guy that, that really took him out of his wing. So, uh, you know, it, it's a special, special honor. And, and again, like I said, I, take, I don't take it lightly. I wear it with, with a lot of pride. And uh, when I think about the history or whatever, I, I'm, I'm mentioning in the name with the, of some of the greats of all time. So, again, I, I still pinching myself right now. I'm, I'm really really excited about the, the you know this honor and uh, like I said I've been floating around all, all, all afternoon and, and since I heard the news because again you never expect something like this to happen to you you know you just feel like you know you're blessed to be in this position and this is really kind of icing on the cake to be uh, enshrined out there with those guys and again like I said it's uh, you know I can't wait to share this with my family and friends and the fans who have treated me tremendous over the years it's a day that 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 will be for them also because I just feel like I've just been along for the ride. Now, the pressure has been amped up so much more here in New York. Uh, winning has become something that's expected from mm-hmm. the Yankee fans. When you got there in 76, they hadn't won since 62. Mm-hmm. Do you think you would have been able to handle it the same way in this era of baseball if you were 21 at that time? I think so, because I think the talent would, would overweigh all that, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, again, it's good to be around good, solid veterans and guys that can teach you how to play the game fundamentally. Uh, I, I think so, because, again, my, my, my skill set was unique. As a matter of fact, you know, with the way the game is nowadays, with a lot of statistics to analysis, I think I was probably ahead of my time, really. <laughs> uh, that thing nowadays, I'd probably be making $10 million a year, the way, you know, they, they're paying guys for, you know, on base percentage and things that they're doing with uh, the different uh, terms they use nowadays. So I think I could have fit in in any era, because I I played the game uh, with a passion. Uh, I understood my role is to set the table for the big guys and score runs, steal bases, and, and do the little things on defense. So uh, that that never changes, and I think that a lot of players today should get back to the fundamentals of playing the game and understanding that it's important to put the ball in play, you know, sacrifice and give it up for the guys on your team. So uh, I always feel like I could have played. I think I would have been a good, good, back in the Negro League days. I don't mm-hmm. know. <laughs> I could have played with Josh Gibson maybe. I, it wouldn't have mattered as long as it was big. Baseball. Now, also being honored this uh, year, the Yankees announced Bernie, Jorge, and Andy getting their numbers retired. You coached all of them. What are your thoughts of those three guys? Oh, yeah. I mean, very well deserving. I mean, Bernie uh, had all these guys when they were babies, man, you know, and, and to be along for that ride and, and from 96. And prior to that, 94 with Showalter, you know, it's just great to see those guys, you know, get their due, man, because uh, they were real Yankees that played the game the right way. And, uh, you know, you, you could count on them every day. I mean, they, they were team players, and you knew that, that they they were the guys going to go out there and, and carry on the legacy and just be winners. So, um, you know, uh, Andy and I, uh, the families, we know each other real well. Jorge, even though we we, uh, we had our run-ins every once in a while because he was so fiery and I was competitive, but Jorge is one of the greatest Yankee catchers of all time. So really happy for them and their families. And, uh, you know, just, just to be out there with those guys is pretty special. 